Hi everyone, we're here with Nathan Chen. The senior men's short program just finished. He's our leader going into the free skate. Nathan, how did your short program feel today? Um, it felt okay. Um, definitely made a pretty big error in the second part of my program. Um, but the audience was amazing. I'm super happy to be here in Vancouver. Um, I'm really glad that I was able to get my levels and get all the rest of the program um, done pretty well. So, um, you know, take what I did today and move on tomorrow. Sounds good. So um, all of our viewers have been watching you for so many years. We even watched you on the junior circuit competing at the junior Grand Prix final. It's been a few years now that you've been competing as a senior skater. How do you feel like you have grown as a skater and as a person since your days on the junior circuit? Um, I mean, since my days in the junior circuit, I've been blessed to be able to watch people like you um, that have helped me grow, helped me develop into, I guess, sort of the skater that I am now. Um, and I think that, you know, just having experience of competing in the past at competitions like this, I think the Junior Grand Prix Final is super awesome just because it combines both the juniors and the seniors. Um, and there's a lot that we can learn from the juniors, and I'm sure there's a lot that the juniors can learn from us. So it's really cool to have that sort of, you know, bounce back and forth. Um, and yeah, I think over the past couple of years, you know, I've able to sort of learn what I'm not so great at and sort of develop the things that I am good at to, you know, complement each other. Yeah, sounds, sounds like a path of life, I think, not just in sport. Um, when we watched you as a young junior and early on in your career as a senior skater, you know, everybody knew you as the kid who did all these quads and triple axles and crazy jumps. Um, but now you've been able to combine those type of technical skills with a passionate energy and performance quality. How does that affect the technical ability now that you're engaging with the audience more and skating um, on a whole nother level as an artistic skater? Thank you. Um... I mean, it was definitely something that, uh, that was sort of faltering in my performances in the past. Um, jumps were my favorite thing and still are my favorite thing, so those are, in my mind, the priority. Um, but now I'm starting to learn, you know, the other sides of skating, the artistic side, and making sure, you know, the whole, the whole program looks like a full package. It's one whole cohesive unit that looks, you know, like a piece of art, I would say. Um, and so that's something that I've been focusing on, on a lot, and fortunately I've been able to work with some of the best people in the world in figure skating right now to, to help develop that. Yeah, I think it's really noticeable, especially when the crowd starts to interact and they can feel your energy coming off of that. And what are you looking forward to doing in the free skate? Are you going to have five, six, seven <laughs> quads, one quad? What's your plan and your game plan going forward at this competition? Mm -hmm. um, it, it's really dependent on how practices go. Um, but, you know, as of now, I'd like to um, at least clean up what I did um, in France, which was three quads, um, and make sure that the whole program is, is centered, make sure that everything is you know, done properly um, with the levels, with the spins and footworks and all of that, um, as well as throwing the quads. So, you know, it'll be based on how practices go tomorrow, mm -hmm. um, but I'm excited for it. Well, I really admire your ability to <laughs> lay it all out there on a whim and change up your program and, and go with how you feel, and we're looking forward to watching you in the free skate. Thank you.